ao Brasil e, para ser bem sincero com todos vocês, ele está no Brasil há pouco mais de uma hora. Então, muito obrigado, Andrew, por favor, uma palavra. Obrigado, boa tarde. Um, I will uh, give my remarks in English, and um, I thank you for your understanding and allowing me to um, speak in my native language. Uh, I'd, I'd first like to say thank you, um, especially to Evcheve and uh, Mario and Andre and uh, the team here for your, your leadership on uh, New Ventures Brazil. And uh, also thank you to uh, Banco Real and Natura, the City Foundation, uh, Finepi, and of course, uh, Instituto uh, BMNF uh, Bovespa. Thank you for hosting this meeting for us. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the World Resources Institute. Uh, we're a nonprofit uh, research institute in Washington, D.C., um, and our mission is sustainable development. Um, this challenge of sustainable development is global. We spend a great deal of our time in the United States trying to change industrial processes and government uh, policies uh, with respect uh, to economic production and ideally making it as clean as possible, while at the same time, you know, providing growth and, and jobs and opportunities. Um, but we recognize that the United States does not live um, in, in, a, in a bubble, and indeed, the world economy is becoming increasingly integrated. And um, over the years, we've become more and more engaged uh, in countries and regions around the world. And indeed, one of, uh, um, I think, the best uh, programs we've ever had at the World Resources Institute is New Ventures. Um, it, it, it got its early start here in Brazil. And um, it's been really a pleasure to watch uh, New Ventures Brazil grow and thrive. Um, you know, the, the New Ventures Brazil is a center of excellence now for uh, small and medium enterprises with social and environmental uh, benefits. And it, it, it's been a model and indeed um, has provided important lessons for our other teams in other parts of the world, uh, China, India. Colombia, Mexico, Indonesia, um, and, and indeed it's, it's been very encouraging and inspiring to see the companies uh, that have come to New Ventures Brazil um, and they're a great reflection of the innovation and the technological uh, prowess that exists here in Brazil. Um, indeed, the, the reason why WRI uh, puts its time and effort into uh, new ventures um, is the idea that uh, the innovation that comes out of small companies um, provides uh, many solutions to uh, clean, uh, sustainable development and, and economic growth. Um, it is that, that innovation that is so vital because uh, the industrial model of the 19th and 20th century, in our view, uh, will not work in the 21st century uh, with the uh, population and consumption patterns that are occurring globally. Um, so if we need innovation and we need new ways of doing things, where are we going to find it? And of course, uh, there's no better place to start than entrepreneurs. Um, it, I also think that this is a, um, an important time for the entrepreneurial class uh, here in Brazil and indeed globally. Um, where I live in, in Washington, D.C., uh, the, uh, the conversation of the day has become completely overtaken by you know, the financial uh, crisis. Um, but uh, there seems to be, in my view, uh, a silver lining in this, um, an opportunity. Um, there's clearly, um, um, at least in, in my country, a great deal of emphasis on returning to uh, quality, integrity, and real value um, in, in investing and um, in the private sector. Um, and, and as we emerge from this financial crisis, and, and we will, um, there are two things that are happening first, uh, at least in the U.S. and also there's a similar thing happening in China. There's going to be very, very large uh, public works uh, uh, spending programs for infrastructure. And in particular, uh, we expect to see uh, a great deal of growth in uh, spending on the electric power sector, uh, particularly the transmission and distribution grid, but also uh, clean power generation technologies, and also uh, water, uh, the um, uh, 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 water.
water delivery uh, for municipal water uses and also uh, sanitation. So um, this is happening in the U.S., it's happening in China, and I believe it will happen in other places as well, as well and, and for companies that have products and services uh, for these uh, uh, natural resource-oriented sectors, I think there's going to be a great deal of growth and innovation. Um, after the uh, political discourse in Washington changes from massive public works uh, economic incentive uh, spending programs. Um, we expect actually to see a new wave of uh, government policy and regulation in the U.S. Uh, it's an interesting historical coincidence that the financial crisis actually coincided with a, um, a very, very significant political shift in my country and a, and a shift that certainly um, uh, will result in uh, new government policies and regulations. And um, just very briefly, I'll mention with respect to the clean energy sector, I understand that a number of the companies we're going to see today are in the clean energy sector. Um, the government policy uh, towards uh, clean energy promotion and indeed the pricing of carbon dioxide emissions, uh, the government policy in the U.S. is about to take a market shift, and uh, most uh, political observers, are, obser observers in Washington believe that we will have a carbon pricing policy by the end of 2009, and I think that's quite likely. So um, these are, this is a very interesting times, I think, for um, the entrepreneurial class with their innovation, and particularly those companies that have strong business models that have environmental and social benefits. So despite the financial crisis, I think um, there's plenty of uh, reason for opportunity and looking forward to the future. Uh, it's very, very nice to be here today. Thank you very much for allowing me to give these remarks.